Steve Pierum, Fire Chief in Goshen, Ohio, and past president of the International Society of Fire Service Instructors. And uh, today I wanted to talk to you real briefly about recruitment of firefighters. Um, so the economy seems to be coming back, things are uh, growing in a lot of communities, but a lot of us are struggling, and myself and my organization, we're struggling to hire people. Uh, whether it be part-time firefighters, volunteer firefighters, career firefighters. Um, in our area, southwest Ohio, we're seeing a lot of places where uh, departments that used to have 500 people testing for one position are net, now getting 12 to 15 people testing for two or three positions. So in our organization, um, I'm a big baseball fan. I love uh, watching my Cincinnati Reds. And uh, I looked at the farm team approach. So kind of building a farm team for your fire department. So our organization, uh, like so many others, has transitioned over the years as the community grew and the call service uh, grew. So we started out as a volunteer organization that transitioned into some part-time people, that transitioned into some full-time people. And now we're really a predominantly career uh, combination fire department. But we're sort of going back to our roots because the recruitment that we were doing and trying to hire new firefighters just wasn't working anymore. So we're actually going back to recruiting uh, community-based volunteers. Uh, basically, we utilize the volunteer role to get them some training. So we find people that are interested, that live in our community. Maybe they are recent high school grads that aren't really sure what they want to do as far as a career. Or we're also seeing a lot of people that are in their mid-30s that have a career, but they're looking for a second career or a part-time job. So we bring those people on as volunteers. We send them out for their training. We get them certified as a firefighter or an EMT first. And then we certify them in the opposite trade, so all of our people are at minimum a firefighter EMT. Then they can transition if they choose to, to a part-time role where we can use them on shift and they can make a little bit of an income. And then slowly we transition them into paramedic school, fire inspector, other training and education. So they're working shifts, they're staffing apparatus for us, but they're relatively inexpensive employees, great employees, but inexpensive. And then eventually we can transition them into a full-time role. Uh, we've been doing it for a little over two years now. We've had our first class of five firefighter paramedics hired full-time that kind of transitioned through that process, and it's working a lot better than the old traditional post a date of the test, have an open competitive exam, do a physical agility, interviews, and hire. So I want you to think about building your farm team and looking at a new way to recruit and train firefighters for your community. Thank you.